Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back, Offer again. Today I'm going to teach you how to follow chords while soloing like Marty Friedman. Marty is really a master of following chords by using arpeggios, uh, scale tones, some outside notes as well. He does it beautifully. And today we're going to take a look at his song for a friend from the album Wall of Sound, which the whole song is a great example how Marty just arpeggiates beautifully and he got a great sense of melody. But we're gonna take a specific look at the minor breakdown right at the second half of the song. Let's hear how it sounds like and then let's analyze it. Let's go. Alright, so yeah, that's a beautiful part. It might sound very complex and very uh, advanced, but actually it's a pretty simple idea. Marty is just following the chords by using arpeggios and some scale tones, some chromatic notes as well. But the basic idea is following the chords. So before we learn the solo, let's take a look at the chords. So we have that C sharp opening the breakdown and this whole song is in three quarters, which adds another cool dimension to it. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, C sharp, F sharp minor, C sharp again, F sharp minor again, E, A, C sharp, F sharp minor, E minor, going to the next section which is the mod modulation to C. So as you can see there's no really uh, fancy chords going around, no jazz chords or anything. Even though it sounds advanced, Marty really likes to apply simple chords to his playing because he's a rock player at heart and that's another reason why we all love him. So let's see what he does for the leads. Right after that C sharp chord is going into an F sharp minor arpeggio. But as you can hear and see and guess, it's not a straightforward, boring F sharp minor arpeggio. It's an F sharp minor arpeggio that uses the sixth and the ninth. And by that I mean the sixth note of the scale and the ninth or the second note of the scale which Marty loves using it got a really uh, eastern mysterious sound to it I love it personally as well and I'd recommend you adding some cool tones to your arpeggios and not just going straight forward up and down because that's boring so he's starting from the fifth actually and not from the root so we got fifth root ninth <laughs> He's going from the ninth or from the second to the third, going back to the ninth, going to the root again and then sliding down or pulling off to the sixth and going to the fifth. Once again. not going to explain every note just break it down and you can slow it down on YouTube as well if you're struggling use your ears guys no tabs tabs are cheating all right once again <laughs> so straightforward sixth and ninth and we're finishing off with these two notes which yeah you guessed it are the root and the third of C sharp minor, the next chord, exactly. And the next phrase is actually breaking out a little bit out of this arpeggio feel and we're going into some scale tones. And we're finishing beautifully at A, which is the third of F minor, which is great. And we're going into another F minor with an added 9 kind of arpeggio 
We're sliding a whole step up and we're getting into the territory of this beautiful E major arpeggio. Right? That's the next chord. And Marty goes there to a kind of a string skipping arpeggio where you have two notes per string and you're skipping between the D and the B strings. If you're not familiar with this kind of shapes, I highly recommend you get into the territory because it expands your kind of thinking and it's a great way to play arpeggios without sweep picking. Alright, so once again... Sliding up again and we're finishing it off at this beautiful A arpeggio or A chord. And as you can hear we're going there into another arpeggio. It's again the mysterious and eastern sounding C sharp. So once again from the E chord. So over that C sharp we're actually going down a scale and that's... That's kind of a C-sharp Phrygian scale, right? And if we're looking at it, the F minor kind of angle, it's A minor harmonic scale. I love this small slide. We're finishing off at A, which is again the third of F minor, which is the next chord. And actually we're going up an A major arpeggio, which is the relative major of F sharp minor. And we gather a very nice chromatic move. We're going up the arpeggio. Hammering on, pulling off and going three steps down from F sharp to E. Which is the next chord by the way. And then we're going from C sharp to B also by the same chromatic move. And we're getting into that beautiful C major modulation. So let's go through the whole thing slowly. I know I haven't went note by note, but I guess you're smart enough to figure it out. It's really not that complex. And it's a great uh, ear exercise. Quit using tabs, guys. Use your ears. That's the best advice you'll get. All right, let's go through it slowly, starting from that C sharp chord that opened the whole section. One, two, three. it it seems complex but it's pretty simple if you want to practice this kind of uh, arpeggiating and this kind of soloing idea I recommend you take two chords two simple chords for the sake of it let's take F minor and C sharp right to stick to the kind of uh, idea of the song and start just by playing the three uh, notes of the arpeggio the root third and the fifth note Alright, that's F minor and then we're going to C sharp, right? So we can do it like this. And just start by doing that. That's kind of the Hotel California move, right? And then you can try to uh, explore the next position. So let's go to that position. And after you're starting to get familiar with that kind of uh, two-string arpeggios, 
try to look what cool notes you have to hang on to. So, for example, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, So you can actually do wonderful things just by following the chords with arpeggios, open your minds, get out of this pentatonic box, you'll benefit from it. Think outside of scales, outside of boxes, just think about the chords in the background. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and benefited from the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Offer Holland. And we'll see each other in the next video. Till then, keep rocking, have a great time, and we'll meet again soon. Bye-bye.